have you ever stopped to think of what will happen with all of these devices that we have? Adrian Kingsley Hughes joining me now, uh, specifically chopping Apple here, Adrian, as uh, they address this or mentioned it, I should say, uh, in their earnings call uh, uh, just recently. But uh, all of this e-waste, and we're talking about billions of devices. I mean, this is something we don't talk about enough. Yeah, it's, it's a big issue. Uh, Tim Cook casually dropped the size of the Apple ecosystem, which we can take to mean iPhones, iPads, and Macs as, as what he means. Maybe HomePods. I'm not entirely sure if, he, if he's talking about those. But 1.65 billion devices. And that was a huge billion. number. 1.65 yeah. billion. Crazy. Yeah, and it's... You know, you're talking a billion of something at a half and some more on top. And it's it's a massive number. And Apple's earnings calls are generally this having big numbers thrown at you. So I was like, oh, wow, that sounds big. And then I forgot about it. And then the other day I was like, wow, 1.65 billion. That's a lot of stuff. And a billion of that is iPhones. So I was like, well, what does a billion iPhones look like? Well, I looked it up online and a billion grains of rice is, is a pile about 25 metric tons, so taking up about 30 cubic meters, which is a massive volume. Um, and so I started thinking, well, 1.65 billion, what if that was all iPhones, which, which are pretty small in comparison to Macs and iPads? What are we looking at in terms of just weight? And it's about two thirds of the weight of the Empire State Building. And it's like, wow, that, that's a huge amount. It's again, just this. Yeah. And I thought, well, what happens if you laid them, laid, if these are all iPhones and you, you, I did some average calculations, laid them end to end, what would it be like? Well, it's five times around, around the earth. And I'm like, well, that's just, this doesn't make sense. I could start here and I'd be going around five times. It's, it, it's an enormous amount. And I'm not singling Apple out here as being the creator of all e-waste. Cars have had this issue for years. Industrial stuff's had this issue for years, but electronics is, a problem that I think we haven't really addressed very well. Apple talks about little robots that take stuff apart and it talks about its green credentials a lot, but I'm not seeing it talk in very concrete terms about what it's doing about this stuff. If we say that everything in this ecosystem will last eight years, I think that's a conservative estimate, but let's say eight years, that's a huge pile of stuff and Apple's still making stuff in this period of time. So it's, it's growing and growing and growing. And it's not just Apple. All these Android devices, everything else we're using, laptops, computers, everything has this, has this finite lifespan. And I'm not really seeing anything that talks about dealing with it. Yeah, that would be, you know, you, and, and you, you, you said, you know, of course it was just mentioned, Tim Cook uh, just mm -hmm. highlighted that number, that 1.65 billion, but were there any solutions presented? Was there any discussion of that? Or have we ever heard of a solution for this? Because like you said, it's not just Apple. No, it's not just Apple. Cars are the other problem that we seem to have this problem with. And you know, I think if Tesla started replacing every car today with electric cars, Given how long cars last, about 25 years is, is sort of like the outside edge. So it would take 25 years to replace all the cars. That's an awful lot of cars that we're talking about replacing. And it's not going to happen. There's nothing. And it's not just Apple. It's not just Android devices. It's just laptops. It's also accessories. And it's funny that this time last year, the European Commission wanted Apple to abandon Lightning port and go with USB-C. The idea being there are more USB-C chargers around, so it's less waste. I think Apple sort of dodged this one out by giving people less. So there's no charger in the box anymore. No, no, no earphones in the box, which I think it's okay. I think that's a, a, it's an interesting solution. But Apple's defense in not wanting to make this switch was think of the e-waste. One of them was think of the e-waste and a hassle for customers. Well, now we're hearing Apple's thinking about getting rid of lightning altogether, which it's going to generate a lot of waste. <laughs> Um, when I mentioned this the other day, I wrote about this the other day, people started saying, well, what about my car that connects to my phone? What about you know, all this other stuff? Well, yeah, you know, nobody's thought about it. When Apple switched from to Lightning from the old port that it had, it made weird dongles and stuff like that. It was all rather hack-handed. It didn't really work very well. It, there may be something that acts as an in-between here. 
but it's clear given how short Lightning's lifespan potentially is and how Apple sort of shifted to USB-C on, on Macs and iPad Pros and kept Lightning on other things, but there really wasn't a long-term plan here. So we've had a billion plus devices well, on top of that, an enormous layer of accessories that are all have a finite lifespan. I have MacBook chargers over there that came with new MacBook that kaput. <laughs> um, I'm rather hard on chargers, fair enough, but there doesn't seem to be a way of really dealing with this stuff. I'm, Apple highlighted a robot a couple of years ago, it's taking things apart. Oh, it's gonna have to work hard to deal with a billion devices. And it's, I, I think that's the thing. It's easier to make these things than it is to take them, take them apart and deal with them because in the making of them, there's the idea of selling them. The taking them apart, the dealing with this e-waste, there's no real long-term profit in doing that for them. So it's really a charge on the amount that somebody paid for the thing. So just as with global warming, we haven't really started to pay the bill for that. I think with all this e-waste, we haven't really started to pay the bill with it. I don't know what's going to happen with it. I would like to see things last longer. I've got AirPods in my ear, the AirPods Pros, two, three years tops. I hate that idea, but that is what their lifespan is. I think, yeah, something's going to have to happen. I don't think the free market's very good at dealing with it. I think at some point we're going to look at it and go, that's too much. Right. Well, there's got to come a time for that, you know, and, and, and Apple, among others, will, will often discuss, you know, their, their green policies and how much they strive for that. But this is a really big problem when we're talking about attempting to be greener. Yeah, and it's a problem for everybody. And I think it's a problem for every company. And, and I see increasingly the problem is being pushed on the consumer. Mm -hmm. um, the consumer is supposed to be green. The consumer is supposed to turn lights off. The consumer is supposed to think before buying something. I'm not seeing that responsibility being pushed up the chain. It's almost like governments and people wanting to defend billionaires and billion dollar companies are jumping in the way and saying, well, it's you to blame because you bought this thing. Well, not really, because um, you can't live without an iPhone. You can't, well, a phone in general or a computer these days, but there's no idea of how to deal with it. And I would really like to see some concept of what we're gonna do with them. I mean, no longer can we just throw things in holes in the ground. Right. Uh, I, I don't live too far away from a tip where people used to throw stuff in the ground. They're still taking stuff in. I can see a point coming where, you know, when we have our bins emptied, it's going to, it's going to cost us money. It's not going to be free. It's not going to be part of the taxes we pay. I think, but that's again, just pushing it on to us, the small people, while companies like Apple are selling lots of devices and making big bucks. Right, right. And consumers changing those, turning them over, like you said, every two to three years, whether it's your, you know, uh, your phone or whatever it may be, your iPad. So, uh, all right. Uh, certainly to be continued, this discussion is, uh, Adrian, as to what will uh, happen with this down the road. But uh, for much more on Apple, what you need to know in Adrian's articles, make sure you check out ZDNet. Thanks for watching.